okay dear students so let us see another example from mathematical induction how are we going to this question now so i'm going for this a part now and the statement is that p of n is equal to x raised to power 2n plus 1 plus a raised to power 2n plus 1 now it is a factor of x plus a so this is what we need to prove with the help of mathematical induction so first of all as uh, we know by step number one we just create we just substitute uh, n equal to one here so what are we getting x raised to power 3 plus a raised to power 3 now the proposal is that x cube plus a cube is divisible by x plus a and uh, we know that this is divisible by x plus a if we know the binomial expansion we can uh, create the other expansion or you can go for long division method also for this particular thing and you can prove it that yes it is divisible by x plus a but for now i am not going uh, going for that so you can do it yourself let us move to step number two and i just assume it that this statement that is uh, x raised to power 2k plus 1 plus a raised to power 2k plus 1 is divisible by x plus a so how can i write that i can just substitute it as p into x plus a you know where p is any uh, polynomial i can say and um, it can be a real number whatever so this is our assumption now so now we move to step number three when we substitute k plus 1 here so this term will become twice of k plus 1 plus 1 plus a into k plus 1 plus 1 be very particular about your handwriting because it's only algebra and um, if even one single mistake we make the complete question is now um, out of our reach now so this thing will become x raised to power 2k plus 3 plus a raised to power 2k plus 3. This can be further written as 2k plus 1 into x square a raised to power 2k plus 1 into a square. I'm just uh, dividing the powers because I want to bring in this expression from somewhere. You see this expression, this, the assumption that I have made. We want to use this assumption to prove the step number three as correct. So how can we do that? So uh, we want to get rid of this x squared from this place now. So what can we do? Um, we can add a term here, which will be like uh, x squared that will be taken common and a raised to power 2k plus 1. So I have to subtract the same term. 2k plus 1. I have to subtract the same term because otherwise the statement will become different. So from this term and this term I am now going to take x square as common. So what do I have here? This plus a raised to power 2k plus 1. So there we go. We have created the statement that we wanted. So we can use this assumption now. There we will substitute it later. But anyways we have to write this term and this term now. So we can take whatever we want to take common here. So uh, we can take uh, minus a raised to power 2k plus 1 as common. Why I'm taking minus? Because I want to take x square as positive. So from this term, x square is there. And from this term, it will be negative of a square. Because I have taken negative common there. Otherwise, also you can do. And so this is a factor of this and this is definitely a factor of this so uh, I have a very less space to write now so here we can say that hence this p of n plus 1 is divisible by x plus a if uh, this assumption in step number 2 is taken if we assume that the statement is correct for n is equal to k so the statement will be true for n plus 1 also do you understand like this thing is divisible by x plus a here and this can be uh, divided into two parts x minus a x plus a. So this is how we do this question. All the best.